understood that the chipping technique is based upon the putting technique. And we've also understood that we now have 10 putters in the bag. And all that changes is the proportion of roll and carry. But it's good to find out the distance that you actually hit the ball using the chipping action and the different clubs that are available to you. So again, I'm with my pitching wedge. I'm not going to pitch, I'm going to have a lofted chip. And the limitation of the chipping swing is that the shoulders and arms and club form a letter Y shape. And that Y shape is there in the putting and in the chipping. And the biggest movement I possess with the Y shape is to there. My shoulders can go no further. So this is a full chip for me using this club. This would be a three quarter chip and this would be half a chip. So that should give me a range of shots. Now if you're using your 56 degree or your 52 degree wedge, you only have to pull the club up your sleeve a little bit. And the flag in the distance of the three flags, the tallest flag, is 60 yards away. So I'm going to play a chip shot with my pitching wedge and it's fairly full motion for me. And you can see that I've got that dead weight. Interestingly, because I kept in the putting mode, I didn't take a divot. So, club up my sleeve a little bit, back and through. So I'm now dialed in. I now know that with this club and the full chipping mechanism, I'm basically going to throw the ball through the air about 60 yards. So, I'm going to reduce the length of the backswing from full to three quarter, and the middle flag is in the 40 yard zone. So, pull the club up the sleeve, walk in. I'm going to have a three quarter chipping mechanism. So, dropping down to three quarter movement. And because I'm playing the shot off a square stance, the ball tends to release a little bit. So, if you've got green to work with, or you're going up a two tier green, or the flag's at the back, the square stance is preferable. If we want the ball to stop quickly, we're going to adapt the chipping mechanism to an open stance. But there's no point applying an open stance to a ball that you want to get up the green. Because if you open your stance, you put backspin on the ball and a little bit of check. But when you play the ball clean with the chipping action, your distance control is going to be good. And you're going to get a little bit of release when the ball lands. So let's do one more to the 40 yard target. Three quarter movement. And off we go. So you can see that I'm getting the distance quite nicely now. So I'm going to reduce it now. And this flag is 20 yards away. So I've got 20 yards. I'm going to go from a full chip to a three quarter to half a chip. This is really quite a small movement. Half a chip, three quarters of a chip, full chip. and the ball's releasing out. I don't expect from a square stance with a pitching club to make the ball stop quickly. If I need to make the ball stop quickly, I'm gonna to go to a more lofted club or play this one with an open stance. And we'll come onto that in a subsequent section. So here we go. And that was the best of the three. The contact was good. And because the contact was good, guess what? My body computed the weight exactly as it should have been for this club and that shot.